I completed a bachelor's in uh, pharmacology uh, from the University of Portsmouth. Um, then I completed a bachelor's in um, uh, neuroscience from Nottingham Trent University. Um, I then did my master's in applied biosciences uh, with a focus in neuroscience and pharmacology uh, from Nottingham Trent University. And I also did my PhD in pharmacology from the University of Leicester. Um, I think the reason that I chosen to be an academic in, in pharmacology was because this job combines the two things I really love. Uh, the first thing is teaching pharmacology and the other one is uh, trying to discover new things, so it's research. Um, I think the person that affected me the most was a professor of mine um, when I was doing a master's degree. Um, you know, the way he was talking about pharmacology and the way he was teaching, the way he was passionate about what he was teaching uh, really inspired me to, to uh, think about getting a career also and um, teaching pharmacology. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say there is a typical work day because uh, in my job every, every day is completely different than the previous one. Um, but I would say, you know, I spend a lot of time in the morning preparing uh, teaching material for, for, for teaching. I deliver um, a couple of lectures. Um, I then spend uh, some time in the lab preparing experiments, setting up the strategy for next experiments. Um, I also spend a lot of time in uh, meetings with mm -hmm. colleagues and uh, students. And then in the evenings, I spend a lot of time uh, just working on my laptop, um, you know, preparing um, material, uh, reading publications, writing, uh, funding applications, etc. I believe the most challenging part of my job is to have a balance between teaching pharmacology and research in pharmacology. Uh, not so much in terms of times. Uh, uh, spent in each one of these two, but rather uh, the relationship between these two. Um, you know, for example, it's very challenging to try and find ways uh, that your research in your area can inform the type of teaching that you're doing, and the other way around. Um, discussions that are made uh, during a class on pharmacology subjects, uh, how can we use that in, in research? I think I find that very challenging. I enjoy when I discover things. I enjoy when I find uh, things that have never been found before, when I answer questions that no one has answered before. That's very enjoyable. Uh, but also I enjoy um, when I see students evolve, when I see students develop, you know, grow mentally and develop professionally. I really enjoy that as well. Um, I think um, the digitalization um, will open up a lot of opportunities in the future, um, both in terms of academia, uh, so digital tools for teaching or digital tools for research, but also as a, in pharmacology per se, um, in terms of biotechnology and nanotechnology. So this kind of technologies will open up a lot of more opportunities. Um, I also think that you know. Um, uh, the curricula in medical schools and health sciences will develop by incorporating all these aspects. So I think um, these two will be very, very important for the future.